This video is going to show you how to upgrade the chip in your Digitech 2120 or your Digitech 2112. Um, I ordered a new chip. When you when you turn your uh, when you power it on, it'll say right here what which one you have. Right now I have um, 2.01 and this one's 2.30. This is the latest and the last version. Um, you get some cool extra stuff. You get some Jimi Hendrix effects. And uh, there might be some bugs that fixes. So um, I've never done this before, but it looks pretty straightforward. I'm going to start with uh, undoing these screws on each side. There's two on this side and two on the other side. I was looking for videos like this, and I couldn't find any to just kind of, you know, know what you're getting into. I'm sure it's a pretty straightforward thing, though. kit comes with a battery which you should replace every few years and um, the chip obviously and, and this cool little puller Alright, there's uh, two more screws on the back right here. Right here and here, we'll get those. And um, you should also be able to replace the tubes doing this. Once, once it's open, everything should be there. So. This video can be used to figure out how to replace the tubes. <clears throat> Feels like that's all that's holding. Oh, look at that. Let me take it. There's these two screws here. Oh, that one wrenches. Feels like maybe. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, yep. Okay. There's this Allen wrench in the middle. This one Allen in the middle needs to be removed. These two stay on. This is a 3 30 second size Allen wrench, and you just take this middle one right off here. Now it should lift right off. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Remember the front side is the side with one hole. Back side has two holes. All right. Oh, this looks pretty simple. There's the tube right there. See, can you see that? All right. So this is the tube. These are the tubes right here. So it's pretty self-explanatory to do that. You just unscrew the screw. This comes off, and then you pull the tube out. Put a new one in. There's two different tubes. Um, I suspect that might be the chip I'm replacing. Let's see what the old one looks like. All right. Yep. 
It looks like it is. Right there. I don't know which other one it would be. Yep. So that's the one I'll be replacing. And also, the battery right here will be replaced. Very, very fragile. <clears throat> See, it looks like it just pulls straight out. So you want to make sure it goes in the exact way or else you'll be screwed. So, I'm going to line it up. Should just pull it out, I would think. To be continued. They gave me some instructions, and maybe I'll read them. Okay, so this is the third video. Um, okay, so notice this little divot above here. Make sure that that goes on the, there's a divot here, make sure that goes in the same way. Um, it came with these instructions here, which I'm not going to read, but um, there's a picture and it shows uh, C285 right above it. I don't know if you could see that. And I'm looking, like it showed an actual picture of it. And also I could see that same number right here. So I know this is the correct one. Also, it's obviously the only one that looks like it. Um, so I've been trying to look at this. I think I was going to go sideways. I think you go long ways with this. And I think it looks like it kind of hooks like that. So I don't know if you could see that. I don't know. Try hooking it like that. Whew, squeeze and just pull up. Oh, one side came up and the other one didn't. What the heck? Oh, yeah, look at that. Whew. Okay, so that's the old one. Whew. It's scary stuff, guys. The new one. You just sit it in there perfectly. And you squeeze down. Wow, that was pretty straightforward. Now, to replace the battery. So the battery, I did it successfully, guys, that's awesome. The battery's right there, we're gonna replace that. Twenty thirty two. Twenty thirty two, all right. Hmm. Probably uses to pull the battery up
It landed on the circuit board, that's not good. So, um, on hindsight, it would probably be good to cover this up with something. So, I'm going to grab a paper towel and cover this up so I don't drop this on the circuit board because you can really damage something. Oh yeah, so I got some toilet paper. I don't think I heard anything, but... There we go. So now a little new one should just slip in there. Oh my gosh, the new one goes in so much easier. It just slips right in there. Nice. Now these are the only instructions you'll actually have to read. After you get the, uh, whatever it's called, the chip in, and you get the battery in, um, then, okay, let's read this, step 11. Uh, in the middle of the uh, printed circuit board, you'll find two jumpers named 64K and 256K. I guess that's referring to some resistors, possibly. Uh, set both to 256k for the 2120 whatever that is uh please set the jumpers as shown the following in the following picture so which is i guess that's showing the 256 yeah um note at later versions of the 2120 there are no jumpers on the PC board. In this case, you can skip this step, which mine is a newer version, so it shouldn't have those. Um, I didn't bother checking when it was open. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing those are resistors, maybe, so you'll probably have to like uh, put a different resistor in. That's no big deal. Uh, you can get a kit of resistors for like probably five bucks, and it gives you like a hundred different kinds, you know. Uh, mine, mine doesn't have that, so we can't see that. Okay, so, uh, okay, now the next the thing that you have to know is right after you get everything in, then you go to this next step. Um, wait, if you want to replace the battery. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. So, now you have reset the unit. So, okay, this is the important part. Uh, connect the power cord, switch off the unit, now switch on the unit while pressing down the preamp button. So you press on the preamp button, you turn on the unit, and then, and then uh, an asterisk will appear next to the Digitech. Release the preamp button and press and release the mod button. Uh, the display should show resetting. And, uh, and then uh, check the software version, switch the unit on while watching the display. So then turn it off and then turn it on and it'll, it should pop up uh, to version 2.30. Uh, yeah, Let's see, yeah. Okay, so uh, I totally recommend getting the kit because it works. And uh, good luck with that, people.